Today, four amigos will be joining us, and uh, they'll be sharing how their life has changed after they met each other. Today, we're here with uh, Carl Schneider, and uh, we were just wondering what your life was like before you met your uh, amigos. Well, to tell you the truth, I thought school was a joke. I really didn't do any of my homework, and I came out of freshman year with around a 3.0, and... Are good? <laughs> uh, Brian! Tell Carl to do his homework! Carl, listen to your mother! Do your homework! Turn off that TV! I don't want to do my homework! Carl! So Carl, after you became acquainted with your amigos, how, how have they changed you? Well, I started hanging out with them and, you know, I'd ask them to, like, play video games or play soccer or something and they would just be like, no, we have homework. And at first I was like, wow, that sucks. I'm not going to do that with them. But eventually we started having study parties and stuff and now I have a 3.7 and <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much a brainiac now, really. What's 2 plus 2? I can't. No, I have homework. Yeah, I know it sucks. All right, bye. What was your life like before you uh, came to terms with your now close group of friends? Well, before I met my friends, I don't like I don't like to admit it, but I was a pretty big nerd. What types of things do you do that you would consider yourself a nerd? Well, I didn't go out and socialize very much. <laughs> Played a lot of video games. You got, you got company. Hey, Alex! Hey. You wanna do something? No, I'm, I'm busy. Are you sure? Yeah, come, come back later. Are you really sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, you freaking noob. So, since you met the, uh, your amigos part, per se, how have they minimized your uh, nerdiness or possibly changed your life in some way? Well, now uh, after I met them, I get out more, socialize a bit more, talk to girls, and I party. Come on, buddy, let's get on the dance floor. So, wanna dance? Yeah! So now we have Graham Janik here, and uh, I just needed to know, what were you like in here before you met the Amigos? Well, I used to be kind of a negative person, and I didn't always see the good in everything, and it just didn't allow me to have fun with everything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so Graham, after you explaining to us what your life was like before you met the Amigos, how exactly has that shaped you and what's it like now? Well, it's a good question because uh, now I seem to have more self-confidence and kind of, you know, see the good in things and it allows me to have, have more fun, just enjoy life, you know. Oh man, I should probably get back to this set. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck? Oh my god! <laughs> and we're back with uh, Jacob Firestein here. Let me ask you, what was your personality like before uh, before you met the Amigos. Well, you know, it's uh, a little more easygoing, not quite as pretentious, you know. Um, I wasn't a mean person. I just, I'm not a mean person anymore, but I was a lot nicer, uh, better hearted, you know. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. Whoa, Dad, did you see how close that woman got to our car? I... Man, that, that was really not smart. She should be more careful. So how has your life changed since you've met the Amigos? Um, well, you know, my humor's changed. Uh, it's definitely more raunchy and uh, dry. Good word. And, uh, you know, I, my behavior's a lot more coarse, a lot more um, forward. And I'm not, I'm not a sweetheart anymore, you know? I, I say what I want and I do what I want. Are you serious right now? You're such a fing And that'll do it for tonight's show. Thank you for watching. Cut. Alright, good on. interviews. Good. Right. Let's get out of here for the day. Hey, give my threads back! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Not our interviewer. <laughs> Put that in our taste. This sign so crack up. Oh, I got people think that doing this is gay. I hate that. <laughs> All right, you go. So now, seeing your life, you know how you how you thought it was.